Who would have who, who known we'd had a Clark sister here? Woo! Come on, sister Denise. So I know there's Karen, Twinkie, and, and uh, Corinda. Uh, Corinda. Well, thank God for California. Well, you're in the right place today. Can you hear me? Okay, that's good. Thank you. Now don't get excited about looking at me. Don't pay that no attention. I'm not the star Jesus, it's the star. Amen. I appreciate the honor and the respect of your leader. God bless you. Thank you so much for him to give up his pulpit to allow me at his request on Father's Day. Um, first of all, I need to give respect where respect is due. I am guest of somebody who belongs to here, the church, a couple to this church, and that is the uh, Florence and Jean Howard. Amen. Praise God. Come on, y'all can do better than that. That's your own. And the situation I'm in, they welcomed me in their home and have made me feel very hospitable. Woo! Right now, if you knew what I was going through, you wouldn't believe that I'm standing here before, sitting here before you. But I don't let nothing stop me from praising God and giving my testimony about what he took me through and how he delivered me. Amen? You should feel that way about this almighty God we serve. Don't take it for granted that. Now, I used to play sports, but now my knees have gotten bad. But they don't stop me from believing the God that took care of me way back then to right now. Hey, now y'all don't sit down on the Holy Ghost, okay? If you got the Holy Ghost living in the inside of you, you should bear witness to somebody else who has the Holy Spirit in me. And I can truly say that I look real young, but I'm a mother of seven boys. My oldest boy is 46. So what, how old that's gonna make me be? And my youngest is 33. Now, I'm two live out here, but all the rest of them are back, back um, east. God brought me out here and the prison ministry is real strong on me. And the shelters, people who are among the wayward, who have not lost their way, so to speak. Back, God's married to the backslide. And if anything that you hear on today, as I go before you and sing a song, one of our songs that Twinkie, Twinkie do most of the writing. Now some of the others, others are writing. But those of you all who don't know who your pastor uh, spoke about, it's five of us sisters, our mother and father, Christian, in the church, and my daddy pastor. So we sat up under his ministry, and I became a scholar in the word 
as an apostle. I have my uh, bachelor's, master's, and doctor's degree in theology and biblical teachings and biblical principles. So that means I'm a preaching somebody. That's why I don't believe in just sitting down on God. He can't use the close mouth. And you don't have to even open your mouth to give God praise. But what you need to do, even in spite of not knowing and understanding what you're going through, give him praise. My mother used to say all the time, why do I have to sit here and pump y'all up to praise the Lord? You breathing like I'm breathing. You might not feel like you want to be loud because especially in this time, the millennials don't get respect to nothing, no property, no persons. That's the younger generation for the older people who don't understand that word I'm um, using, millennial. Okay? That's, that's like he was talking about the uh, grandchildren knowing how to use the phones. They can use the phones better than we can. But they ain't got nothing on me because I'm a computer programmer and I used to work for IBM, so I'm keeping up. But I said that to say this. Mama used to always say, don't let somebody make you have to praise the Lord. She said, open your mouth and give God thanks and praise. Listen, that he is allowing you to breathe. And I know for a fact in this day and time, people have been trying to take their lives to be suicide because they can't deal with the pressures of the world and what is going on. But these are the last days we're living in. This is being fulfilled. And this is letting us know we're getting closer to you. coming back. So look up. Hallelujah. The redemption draws now. You don't have to be dead and you don't have to know God like the years and decades of how I've been learning to lean on Jesus, so much so that my faith, hallelujah, some of the things I went through, none of my sisters could have gone through. My mother used to say, to whom much is given, much is required. And when we were over in Germany, we all would have been between you and me in a room, Mom and Karen and Jackie and Dorinda. And she would say, do you think you go through, they, they don't have what's on you. And I said, well, that's not fair, though. Um, because we all sat up on the same teaching. We sat up on there knowing what the gospel is and living it because you and Daddy walked before us. But the thing that I wanted to minister to anyone who hear my voice is you have no excuse not to praise God. You have no excuse not to know the Spirit of God and know Him on a personal level. You don't get in by groups. We're nothing. We don't, we don't get in just because we're popular. The Bible tells you you know a tree by the fruit it bears. If you bear it with the fruit, don't, don't look for heaven's doors. Search yourself. Me and brother was talking at the table yesterday, and he mentioned something about the scripture, examine yourself. And it behooves me to, to, to minister that, that out to. Don't look at the next person and how they are seemingly prospering. But think in yourself. Okay, all right. Think so we're, we're, my point is, the fruit you bear is a reflection of whether somebody else is going to desire to have that kind of same fruit in there. That's my point. Amen. That's my point. Now, I'm going to sing um, one of our, um, um, my, 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 Oh. 